Hi friends and welcome back to Rustic and Lace DIY. Today is the Just Our Imagination Challenge and I'll let you know more about that in a few minutes. But first of all, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Brenda and this is my sleepy Oliver. And if you're returning, welcome back. So with all that being said, let's get to crafting. Okay, here's DIY number one. So this is a really easy DIY. I'm going to take this bunny wreath form and this lavender from Dollar Tree. I'm going to use some floral wire and I'm going to remove <laughs> the tags. I'm going to cut, um, cut these picks down to the very last ring that's on the bottom part of the picks that shows where they're connected. And I'm going to cut each one of those down as I go. And then I'm going to use my uh, floral wire to attach them to my wreath form. Now I um, recently saw and found um, it's a channel I think it's called Jessica Lynn at home. I found this uh, the other day I was going to do this for the recreation inspiration that I was in earlier this week or this last week but um, I didn't have enough lavender to do it and I was so bummed and then I had gone to Walmart and I saw, I found a whole bunch of their lavender. And so I grabbed it and thought, I'm going to make it for this video because I just thought it was so beautiful. Um, so I will have a link to her video uh, in my description box so you can check it out if you'd like. But all I did was just layer each one of these and I just alternated the colors. And then once I had them all on there, I just kind of fluffed them all out and uh, made sure it looked all nice and even. And then I took some of this fuzzy yarn that I had in my stash and I'm just going to wrap it around the ears. And when I got down to about the flower line there, um, I just went ahead and went around both of the ears and then came back up on the other side so that I could um, finish the other ear. And I know you're not going to see me do that part, but... <laughs> <laughs> Once I got it done, I just cut it off and then I just put a little hot glue and glued that um, yarn together. And that's all there was for that. Super, super easy, but look how gorgeous it is. It is just stunning. Of course, my favorite color is purple. So, <laughs> so that's probably another reason why I think it's beautiful. But you have to let me know what you think about this in the comment box below. Okay, so today is just our imagination. And on the second Sunday of each month, I host this with along with my best friend, Kathy Joe with Kathy Joe's DIYs. And every month we have three must use items that we have to use in our video. And last month we had Jessica with the busy housewife and she uh, created this really beautiful piece that both Kathy Joe and I absolutely love. So we invited her to be our guest host this month. And so make sure you check out her channel and show her some love. Subscribe to her if you haven't already. I'll have links to her and Kathy Jo in the description box below and the playlist. So here's DIY number two. So I got this at Hobby Lobby. It was $2.99 plus 40% off, which makes it like $1.80. And it's big and it's thick and it's or I should say thicker than like what you would find at Dollar Tree so really check out Hobby Lobby at times because they do really have good prices when they have their sales so as you can see I removed that little tail and painted the whole thing white then I use my Mod Podge here and I'm just putting this on the bottom part of my bunny and then I set it aside to dry while it was drying I took this napkin I got this a couple of years ago from Amazon and I'm just going to use uh, half of the napkin. I'm going to remove the plies from the back and then I'm going to use my small scissors here and I'm just going to fussy cut all around the flowers and the butterflies. I did end up actually cutting the butterflies off of there and cutting them separate um, but you could use the wetter, wetter, the water technique if you would like. I like doing it with my scissors because I feel like I can get a little closer to my images uh, when I do this but you know do whatever works for you so once I had this napkin all cut out as you know, I can't talk today <laughs> along with my butterflies I laid them down once my Mod Podge was dry I covered that napkin with my uh, 
parchment paper and I'm using my heat press to go over it to reactivate that Mod Podge. Now, if you don't have a heat press, you can use an iron that doesn't have steam. <clears throat> and then I just removed my parchment paper and used my scissors to trim off the excess. And then I just went over it again with some Mod Podge so that way it protects that napkin. And then I set it aside to dry. And while it was drying, I took this heart from Dollar Tree and I scored it. And I'm just going to use my box cutter to cut it until it cuts all the way through. And it can take a few minutes to get it through and a little bit of elbow grease. <laughs> then I just filled that hole with some of my Dollar Tree spackling that looks really gross in there because I've put my finger in there so many times. <laughs> Then I painted that with two of these big blocks from uh, Five Below with my white chalk paint there. Then I, once my napkin was all dry, I went through and I used my finger sander to go ahead and get all the excess napkin off. And then I got this ribbon just recently from Sam's Club. And this ribbon I had a couple got a couple of years ago at Michael's and I'm making two bows doing the awareness ribbon, scrunching them up in the middle. And then I'm using this uh, jute string to tie them together. And after I have them all tied together, I am going to dovetail the ends. I think I fluff it first. I think I'm going to sit here and show you how to fluff a bow. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Anyways, I'm going to dovetail the ends and you just fold it in half and cut it an angle. And I'm just going to do that with each tail there. And after I have that all done, I'm going to hot glue it to the corner of my bunny. And then I'm going to take one of these butterflies. And I got these from Amazon. They might be in my Amazon store. And I'm just going to hot glue one on the bow and then one up on the ear. I just thought that would be really cute. I'm taking my wood glue and my hot glue. And I'm going to glue these to the back feet of my bunny. And then after they're glued on, I am going to glue them onto the bottom part of that heart, which is now going to look more like bigger feet for my bunny and that's all there was for this I absolutely love this I had a different plan for it I was going to use a stencil but then I decided to do this instead and I love how this came out I hope you do too you have to let me know what you think about this in the comment box below Okay, I always like to take this moment to thank my subscribers. I appreciate you all so very much. And if you're new here, I invite you to hit that red subscribe button and become part of our YouTube family. And then if you guys wouldn't mind, I would appreciate it if you give me that thumbs up and comment, watch those ads. That really does help support my channel. And then if you'd like to follow me on social media, you can find links to my social media accounts in the description box below. Okay, here's DIY number three. Now for this DIY, I'm going to take my Waverly Antique Wax and I'm gonna cover this 14 inch wood round that I got from Hobby Lobby. And I just brush it on and then wipe off the excess with a paper towel and I went around both the front and back and did that. I then took these half beads and I laid them all around and then I went, oh, I gotta make a hanger. So I'm very carefully trying to make holes with my big mouth crocodile here. Um, and try not to to uh, move all of those uh, half beads. And then after I had the holes made, I just start hot gluing these beads all the way around my um, my wood round. Now these beads, they were originally a neutral color. I had painted them previously white and I had all of them to use. So I just used them this time. I took that egg and traced it out. Now I originally was not going to do anything with this bunny, but I saw on Pinterest, someone had made a face and stuff. And I thought, how cute. Part of me wishes I would have just left alone because it gives it more of an elegant look. This gives it more of a whimsical look, which is really cute and fun. But I just went ahead and traced out feet. I traced in the ears. I'm making some eyes here. And then I'm going to do um, a little nose and mouth. And after I had it all traced out, I used this Apple Barrel Pink Blush. And I'm just going to paint along inside of the... Um, the belly here and I'm just going really slow with my small paintbrush just kind of going along that pencil line and just trying to be really careful not to go outside of the line um, 
Yeah. And then I painted the inside of it and I did the same thing with the little pads on the feet. And I'm going to also do it with um, the middle of the ear there. And once I had that all done and dry, I took some black paint and I'm just going to paint in the eyes and you'll see me doing that right there. Trying to be really careful with that small, tiny brush. And once I have this all done, um, I'm going to let that dry. No, I'm going to do the mouth and the nose as well. So I'm just going to use my little brush here and try to make really small lines. I got a little thick on the bottom there, so I kind of had to to go over the top part of it a little bit more, but it still looks good. After that, I took my black paint marker and I'm just going to outline um, all the pink areas. Now, I am copying a something I saw on Pinterest just kind of because when it comes to visual in my mind doing stuff like this, um, I'm not very good. So I just have to kind of follow what other people do. And then I took a white paint marker and I just kind of went along the inside of this. After I did that, I realized the picture I was looking at, she only did half of it, but that's okay. I don't care. It still looks great. <laughs> it makes it look fun and whimsical and it just adds a little more um, definition and character. So then I'm going to add some little dots for the eyes. I'm going to add a little eyelashes, eyebrows, and what else do I do? Oh, I took some Baker's twine took four strands, cut it down. I'm going to glue it right to the top of the mouth there. And then I meant I took a half bead and I painted it with that same pink blush and I'm going to glue it right on top. And then I'm going to use my wood glue and hot glue to put this bunny on the middle of my wood round. Now, if you're new to crafting, I use wood glue for the permanent hold and then the hot glue for the immediate hold. And I need the immediate hold because I'm filming and I don't want to have to sit and wait for my glue to set before I do anything. So that's why I use the hot glue so that it holds right away. After I have that on there, then I took some of this, I guess it's like ribbon. I got this from Hobby Lobby a couple years ago. It's a couple strings. It has a few beads and a little flower on it. It's really cute. And I'm just going to make it look kind of like a necklace and glue it around her neck. And then I took a couple of those flowers, cut them off and add them over the holes on the ears. And then I took some more of that and I'm just going to use a, make it a hanger out of it. And I just put some tape on the bottom of the strings there and thread it through the holes. And I'm just making sure it is all even and the size that I want. And I'm going to tie knots on the back. And that's all there was for this. I think it came out really cute and whimsical. And yeah, you have to let me know what you think about this one as well. Okay, it is a time for a celebration of your recreations. And Dorothy made this beautiful wreath. I love it. It's amazing. Thank you, Dorothy. And then we have Candy. She's trying out her chalk couture and she made this beautiful sign for her husband. I loved it. Thank you, ladies, for sharing those. And if you have a creation or recreation that you would like me to showcase for you, you can send pictures to my email address that's listed there, or you can send them to me through Instagram or Facebook Messenger. Okay, these are the must-use items. We have uh, clothes pins, spoons, and nasty mice traps. Ooh. <laughs> so for DIY number four, I'm going to use the clothes pins here, and I'm just going to remove the... Um, the springy metal pieces that's in between and you just really kind of twist the wood and they come right off and I'm setting them aside for another time but I don't know what I'm going to use them for because I have a whole bunch of them so I might end up throwing them away because I just don't know what I'm going to do with all of them anyways I'm going to use my uh, hot glue here and I'm just going to glue them to this one of these wood planks from Dollar Tree, one of these square wood planks. And I end up um, gluing 12 on each side. Now, um, when I first started, I didn't go right to the edge. I don't, I don't know what I was thinking, but because I thought I was going to be able to only get 11 on there. Um, but I did end up getting 12, and, but there is a little bit of a gap in the back, but hey, it's okay. So I painted that basket with my lavender by Waverly, and I painted that little bunny, that disc, and that candle holder 
but with uh, my Waverly chalk paint in the color white. Once they were all dry, I took my Fix-All glue and hot glue, and I'm gonna glue this candlestick upside down to that uh, round disc there. And I had measured it and traced around it so I knew right where to lay it. Otherwise, it would have been crooked, it always is. And you can see I was measuring there, making sure it was even, and then I trace it out with my um, pencil there. And then I'm just gonna do the same thing with the Fix-All glue and uh, the hot glue. And then I'm gonna glue that to the bottom of the basket. Now, I don't know why I painted the inside of that because you're not gonna see it. <laughs> but anyways, once I had that hot glued there, I'm gonna take some floral foam and I'm gonna glue it to the inside of my basket. I took a little piece to stick on top and then I'm just gonna fill it up with some floral moss. I got that big bag from Hobby Lobby and I just wanna kinda cover up that moss so that you don't see it. And once I had it all covered, I took that little bunny and I'm going to hot glue it to that top piece that I put on there. Then I'm going to take some of these little roses. I got these last year from Hobby Lobby. They're just so beautiful and I love how many you get. And I'm just going to start um, cu cutting them off and sticking them in. Now I wasn't gluing them in, but you'll see in a little bit uh, they were falling out. So I did go through back through and just kind of put some hot glue on them and glued them in so that that way they stayed because they're not necessarily going through the floral foam, but they are going through that moss. Then I took this ribbon that I got recently from Hobby Lobby. I just thought it was beautiful and I am just going to go around my basket with it. I thought it just went great with all the different colors of roses that are in my basket. And then when I got to the back side, I'm just going to um, turn the end piece inward a little bit so it has a nice clean edge and then I'm going to hot glue it in place. And after that, I'm going to take a some more of that ribbon and make a bow. And I'm just doing again the awareness ribbon, scrunching it up in the middle. I'm going to tie some uh, jute string around it and then I will dovetail the ends as well. I love this ribbon. It's so pretty. <laughs> I don't know. I'm really into flowers, especially in springtime. I always love doing flower stuff. Um, I'm just going to hot glue it to the front middle. Oh no, I'm sorry. I took a little bit of that ribbon and I cut a small piece and then I'm wrapping it around the middle of my bow so you don't see the jute twine. I just thought it was prettier that way. And then I'm going to dovetail the ends and then I'm going to hot glue it to the front of my little basket. And there it is. Then I decided to go ahead and put some hot glue around the base and I'm going to add some uh, of this moss. A funny story is I did this last night and then I decided to wear the same shirt today. When I put it on, I found moss inside my sleeve. <laughs> that stuff gets everywhere. I just went around and hot glued uh, some of these flowers all the way around the bottom, the base part. And uh, then after I do that, I think I'm going to stop here. Yeah, I took my little Sharpie and just made a little dot for his eye and then see how my flowers came out. That's when I decided to start uh, <laughs> hot gluing them in. And there it is. I think it's adorable. It's just fun. And if you don't do Easter or don't like bunnies, you, you don't even have to put a bunny on there. You could just fill it up with your favorite flowers. I just think it is so cute and such a fun way to use those clothespins. Okay, here's DIY number four. Now you guys have to tell me if you think this looks like a carrot. I asked my husband and he said no. He didn't know what it looked like. <laughs> so I'm going to take some of these plastic spoons and I'm going to paint the spoon part with my Waverly chalk paint and the color pumpkin. And I went ahead and did both front and back. I know you're not going to see the, the inside part of the spoon, but I just felt like it kind of darkened the outer part with the inner part being painted as well. Maybe it's just my imagination, I don't know. But I just went ahead and painted both sides as well as around the edges. Then I took these, I think these are pruning shears from Dollar Tree and I'm just cutting now. When you do this, you wanna be very careful because they can crack and little pieces can fly everywhere. So you might wanna wear goggles just to protect your eyes. So I took my Waverly Antique Wax and a napkin and I'm just brushing over 
the uh, frame part of one of these signs from Dollar Tree. And then I'm going to remove the hanger. I think this is my last sign like this from Dollar Tree. And I haven't seen them for a while. It makes me sad. I love these signs. <laughs> then I'm going to use my hot glue here. And I'm just going to start gluing these spoons in place. Now, I did have some problem trying to figure out how to lay them. So I did kind of play around with it once I got these laid um, and glued in place because, you know, as much as I would try to lay them out and try to get the, the shape that I wanted um, without gluing them, they kept moving around and, yeah, make it, made it kind of hard. So, um, yeah, I think it looks like a little stumpy carrot <laughs> or orange grapes cluster of orange grapes. I don't know, but I still think it's cute. So I'm just gonna, I laid it out as you can see. I just kind of was laying them out for the bottom part. And then I just took uh, more and just kind of went in and tried to fill the, in the gaps. And um, yeah, I don't know if you've seen, I've seen other people make this out of like the wood biscuits. And that's kind of what I was going for that look. Um, but yeah, I don't know, maybe they're just too short and stubby. I don't know. So I took boxwood greenery here and I'm going to glue them on the top, just kind of spreading them around to make it look like the top of a carrot. After that, I took some of this orange gingham ribbon that I just recently got at uh, Hobby Lobby. I cut out three pieces and then I took that brown ribbon that I got um, this fall at Walmart and I did the same thing. I just cut them down. I don't, I didn't measure. I just kind of, um, cut what I thought what looked like it would fit across the front of that of that carrot so then I just start scrunching them in the middle and alternating the colors and just kind of uh, laying them diagonal of each other and once I had them all put together then I'm going to use that jute twine and to um, wrap it and hold them in place and I love the way this bow came out <laughs> Honestly, even though it may not look exactly like a carrot, I love this one. I think it is really cute. So there to my husband. <laughs> I'm going to glue that in place. Usually he's very complimentary when I make stuff. And this time I was like, what? <laughs> I found a button in my stash and I put it there now for the worst part. Oh, I hate mice, you guys. They just give me the willies. And just looking at a mouse trap just oh yuck and I'm just like okay I'm psyching myself out okay I can do this I'm removing all the staples and these actually I was kind of surprised at how easy this all came off I thought it was going to be a lot harder but I it was just thinking about what this was and thinking about how it, it had stuff to do with mice I was just like oh Anyways, I sanded it a little bit because of the holes and then I'm just filling those holes with my plaster. No, what is that stuff? You know what it is, whatever it is. Yeah, I think it is. Anyways, whatever it is. And then I sanded off the excess and then I just went over it with my antique wax. I did do the other side as well just because I knew that some of it was going to hang over my sign and I didn't want you to see all the wording that was on the back side. Plus, um, you can kind of see it, but it really hides it. Then I took a white paint marker here and I'm just going to write happy Easter and I'm making little happy dots like Tracy with country charm by Tracy does. <laughs> I got my inner Tracy going on there. <laughs> After that, I am just going to hot glue that to the top part of my sign, just like that. Then I just took some beads. I got these this fall from Amazon and I'm just going to take, a uh, some white ones, some natural color ones, and some orange ones. And I'm just going to string it through. I think I ended up doing like either eight or 10 of them. And then after I had my beads as many as I wanted, I'm just going to staple them onto the back of my sign for a hanger. And that's all there was for that one. And there it is. You have to let me know what you think. Does it look like a cluster of grapes or does it look like a carrot? Kathy Jo says a short stubby carrot. <laughs> Anyways, the final reveal is coming right up. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you check out Kathy Jo's channel. If you don't know who she is, make sure you check out Jessica's channel and then check out the playlist because it's going to be fun to see what everybody does with these must use items. So I will be back again on Thursday with another video. So have those, uh, 
notification bell set or, or your alarm set or whatever you do. <laughs> and with all that being said, you guys, I hope you have a very blessed week and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.